Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to do a quick everyday makeup routine. This is what I throw on every day to feel put together um, and good about myself to run out the door and get stuff done. Um, I do stay home with my daughter during the day, so a lot of times this is just what I do to feel like a functioning member of society. So um, I hope you guys like this look and if you guys wanna see how I do this, then just keep watching. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to first just clip my bangs all the way out of the way. And then I'm gonna use the Benefit Porefessional Matte Rescue. Um, I feel like it really fills my pores and helps keep me matte, which I love. Um, okay, once that's all rubbed in, um, I'm gonna take the e.l.f. Tone Adjusting Primer in green. I just like this one because it's got that kind of silica feel um, and it's green, so it takes some of my redness away. I'm not too red these days. Thankfully, since all of my acne cleared up, I don't know if you can see, I have a tiny bit of scarring, but for the most part, it's gone. Next, I'm gonna take my Spat Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. And I'm just gonna spray this all over my face. That's my favorite part, it feels so good and refreshing. Um, now, I'm just gonna put a little bit of e.l.f. Illuminating Eye Cream underneath my eyes. I already put eye cream under my eyes this morning when I did my morning routine, but I also like to put this under my eyes just to keep them really hydrated right before makeup. Because when your under eyes are dry, makeup's gonna cling to them and get in your lines. And it's not gonna look great. Okay, and now while the under eye cream and the primer is setting in, I'm gonna go ahead and take my Anastasia Brow Definer in Auburn. Um, I use Auburn because it matches my hair. Obviously, why else would you pick a color? Um, I ac actually accidentally picked this up. I normally use Brow With, but I grabbed this on accident and I don't hate it, so I'm just using it up. I don't know if I will purchase it again, I guess. We'll just have to see. I do like like how how easy it is to get the color on there quickly. My eyebrows rarely match, so I try and get them as close as I can. It's something with the arch, like this one is further along than this one. I don't know. So just remember, sisters, not twins. Okay, now that my brows are all on and I brush them out a bit, sometimes if I'm feeling up to it, I will take my uh, Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in Fair Neutral and a small Morphe brush and I will outline my brows. Since I'm feeling a little tired this morning, <laughs> could use a real big makeup pick-me-up, I will go ahead and do it. Okay, now that that's all done, I'll go ahead and take, I'm just trying this out. Um, I do actually like it. I feel like it looks like my skin, but better. Um, it is a little greasy though, or not greasy, but oily, like in my T-zone. So I don't know, I'm still trying it out. It's the Born This Way Foundation by Too Faced. And this is in the lightest color snow. And I'm just gonna take that and put it on the back of my hand. And I'm gonna use my Beauty Blender. And I'm just gonna start blending this all over my face. Um, then I'm going to take that same Tarte Shape Tape, and again, this is in Fair Neutral. And I'm going to put this all underneath my eyes. We're going to do some major baggage repair. So I'm going to put a little bit more than I used to. Top of the lip, chin. Point through the nose. And a little on my forehead. 
when I do this makeup routine every day, it takes me from start to finish, including doing my hair, usually about 30 minutes. So my makeup probably takes about 20 minutes, which isn't bad, I think, for this look. I feel like it looks really put together and not too much. Um, I always put concealer on my eyes. Eyelids too because I have very oily and veiny eyelids. All right, now that that's all blended in, I'm gonna take my Bare Minerals Matte. This is in Fair 01. And I'm just going to take a Real Techniques blush brush. I'm gonna pour a little in the lid. Take some on my brush and tap. And then I'm just gonna push this into my skin. Then I'm going to take my Hoola Bronzer by Benefit and a Sedona Lace 850 brush. This is my favorite contour brush and I'm just going to get some of that. I'm going to focus on the contours of my cheeks. I have a really round face, at least in my opinion, and I'm going to contour right under there to create some angles in my face. I always go right underneath my nose too and a little bit down the sides just to lift my nose up. And then I broke my nose right here when I was little playing basketball. So I always go down the sides. Oh my god, every time I have my foundation I always have an itch. Um, then I'm going to take some and put it on my big old forehead. Again, I'm just trying to create angles in my round face. Okay, then usually I take that powder brush and just whatever is left on it, I go under and around just to kind of blend that out to make sure it's not harsh. Then I take my Smashbox Spotlight Palette in Pearl Unicorn Fan Brush. I'm gonna use the lightest shade here, which is, I think, Turn It On Pearls. And I'm gonna highlight my cheekbones. I usually go right above my brow too. Kind of creating like a C there. Tip of my nose, bridge of my nose, and my upper lip, Cupid's bow. Then I take my very beloved um, Milani Baked Powder Blush in Luminoso. This is just like a peachy blush. I love this blush, it's my favorite. I've gone through two so far, and this is just a brand new one. And I'm just going to start on the backs of my cheeks and I'm going to work that forward. I always feel like this blush just like brings my face alive. It gives me color. Um, then I'm going to take my favorite eye primer. This is the NARS Pro Prime Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base. And I'm just going to put this on my eyes. And then, I don't know why I do this, but I always do. I just take that same powder brush. I didn't dip back into anything, but I just go over my eyes to kind of set that. Then I'm going to take my Urban Decay Naked Heat Palette. I love this palette. This, these colors in this palette are my life. Um, I typically, for every day, I use Chaser, Sauced, Low Blow, and Heat Devil. And that creates just my everyday look. I feel like this look is really good. Sorry, I got an itch. I feel like I got a hair on my face. Um, I feel like this look is really good for every day, in the fall especially. Um, it's super easy to do. First, going to take Chaser, and this is just a Sedona Lace 863 brush. I'm going to dip that in, and I'm going to put this all over my lid. Then I'm going to take a Sigma Tapered Blending E35 brush. Looks like this. And then I'm going to take Sauced, this color right here. I love this color. If I'm in a big hurry, a lot of times I will just put just this on um, my eyelid in my crease and I'll just run out the door. Then I'm going to take a Sigma Small Tapered Blending E45 brush and I'm going to take Heat Devil right here. And I'm going to work this just into my very outer corner. 
This just gives us like a little something something. Okay, then I'm going to take that same Sigma Taper Blending Brush E35, it's just a big fluffy brush, and I'm just going to start to blend both of these colors seamlessly together. Then I'm going to take that Sedona Lace 863 brush that we started with, and I'm just going to slightly dip back in that, not get a whole lot, really tap it off, and then I'm just going to go under the brow and around the edges just to make sure this is really blended seamlessly. Then I'm going to take a Real Techniques Essential Crease Brush, just a little brush like this, and I'm going to take He Devil. I'm going to work this under the outer part of my under eye. Then I'm going to take that soft color, get it on the brush, and I'm just going to blend into that He Devil color under my eye. Okay, then I'm going to take an e.l.f. eyeshadow C brush, and I'm going to take Chaser, just like a neutral skin tone shade, and I'm going to put that on my eyelid and in my inner corner. That's it for that palette, and then I'm going to take the Smashbox Spotlight in Pearl, that same shade I put on my cheekbones. I'm going to take a little of that and put that right in my inner corner for a little bit of pop. Then I'm going to take my NYX Wonder Pencil and Light, and I'm going to line my waterline. Then sometimes I go ahead and I put on some winged eyeliner with a pen. That is rarely that I do that, so I'm not going to do that today. Um, my typical everyday is just eyeshadow. Then I'm going to go ahead and curl my lashes and put on my lipstick. I This is always my everyday. It's my favorite. It's Jeffree Star Celebrity Skin Liquid Velour Liquid Lipstick. I am actually almost out of this. Um, I bought it last year around this time. And it is just always my go-to. Okay, once my lipstick is on, I go ahead and do another coat of the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water just to set in my makeup. I find that if I do this after I put my mascara on, my mascara will um, get wet and get on my eyelids, which I don't like. Um, then I'm going to take my Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. This is just in the blackest one I can find, like my soul. And I'm just going to put this on my lashes. Alright guys, that's it for my everyday makeup routine. Uh, like I said, when I'm just uh, doing this every day without a camera, I'm walking through the steps. It takes me about 20 minutes and then 10 minutes for my hair. So 30 minutes and I'm ready, put together, feeling pretty good about myself and out the door. Um, so if you guys have any questions, go ahead and leave them down below. Um, like I said, if you have any recommendations on a good mascara, leave that down below. Um, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Um, also, please subscribe while you're here if you haven't already. I would really love to have you here and your support means so, so much to me. And yeah, that's it. Thank you so much, guys.